In this example, I'm going to pick up where we left off in the last problem. We had this 4 by 12 dug for large beam with properties shown here. And it is spanning 20 feet with a dead load and a live load shown of a total of 300 pounds per foot. We did the math on this. We found that the deflection under live load was about a half inch. I was allowed, based on ordinary floor beam usage of L over 360 of 0.67, so that tells me that this one was okay for live load. And then we went down and we checked it for total load. And we looked at this and we said, okay, let's put the total load in here. We get one and a half inches, but we're only allowed L over 240 or one inch. We have more than we, more deflection than is allowed. So we found that it's no good. So this beam was no good. The uh, four by 12, Doug Fur Larch is not adequate. So what do we do? Well, let's look at our equation right here. And let's see what we can do with this equation. Since we didn't have, since the beam isn't big enough, what we're going to do is we're going to see what I do we need. What is the required section modulus, assuming the span, the load, and the material all stay the same? So how can we change this? Well, let's solve this equation for I. So we get I required is equal to 5 over 384 times W times L to the fourth divided by E times delta max. Okay, And the one that didn't work, if you look up here, was the total. So our delta max here is going to be L over 240, which will be the 1.0 inches. Our load in here will be the total load, so that'll be 0 0.025. So we're going to use the parameters from the one that didn't work to try to come up with an I required. And we'll expect that the value we come up with will be greater than the 415. And you might even guess it's going to be about, we need about 50% more uh, stiffness. And since there's no powers on the 415, we should end up with a number of about 50% more of 415. So W is 0.025 kips per inch. Again, this is going to stay the same. We still have dug for large, so it's 1,700 KSI. And we still have a 240 inch span. Again, that's a coefficient. So let's go ahead and solve this. So let's plug in the numbers. We get 5 over 384 times 0 0.025 kips per inch times 240 inches to the fourth divided by 1700 KSI times 1.0 inches. When we do this, we get 635.3 inches to the fourth. So this is our I required. Okay. So how do we pick a, pick a beam from this? We'll go into some tables and we'll look at some options here. So our first option here is a 6 by 12. I look up uh, its values in table and I get 63.25 for its area and 697.1 for a moment of inertia. So 6 by 12 will work. Let's look at some other options. Next option I'm showing here is a 4 by 14. So the cross-sectional area of that is 46.38, and it has a moment of inertia of 678. So that one will work as well. And let's find one more in the table. We're trying to find a moment of inertia that just above 635. So the third option I found here is a 10 by 10. Its cross-sectional area is 90. 0.25. It's not 100 because a 10 by 10 is the nominal size. The actual size is 9.5 by 9.5, and, and its moment of inertia is 678. So any of these three will work. So how do we decide which one is best? Well, cross-sectional area is an indication of the amount of wood being used. And so obviously, if we want to be most efficient, we're going to select the one with the least area, which is the 4 by 14, which makes sense because we're going to get the most um, stiffness out of deeper members. So the narrow and deep is going to work the best, typically. So we're going to select 
a 4 by 14 DFL and it's a number one grade to get the 1700 uh, and our deflection will be good enough. Now this is just checking for deflection. We would also have to check this beam for strength based on what we did in the last section um, using stress. We would take the modules, the section modulus and we'd calculate the maximum moment, divide uh, divide them out and determine if we have if we exceed the allowable stress. So again, this is just based on deflection only. Still need to check for strength.